Hi everyone, my name's Mel. Welcome back to my bookshelf. And today I'm going to do another book haul because I've acquired a lot of books since I did my last one. So let's get started. So first up, I've got the next two books of the First Law Trilogy, which is Before They Are Hanged and The Last Argument of Kings. I really enjoyed the first one, The Blade itself, and I'm really looking forward to digging into these two. Next up, I've got a bit of a monster, Dead House Gates by Stephen Erickson, which is the second in the Malazan, as I've learned how to say it now, Malazan, Book of the Fallen. Um, I'm really enjoying the first one. I'm just over halfway through. I'm really taking my time with it because it's a bit confusing in some parts, so I'm reading each chapter twice just to make sure I'm actually getting it. It's amazing how much more I'm getting by reading it twice, so I probably will have to do that with this one, and it's not little. Now my kids for Christmas bought me two books. The first one is The Shadow Friend by Alex North. Now I've got The Whisper Man, also by Alex North, which I've heard wonderful things about, but I still haven't read it yet. Uh, we went on holidays last year before COVID struck, and um, I tried to read it on the plane, but I had two little people that would not let me. So I've still got to read that one as well. Um, and I love the covers of these, they're beautiful. So this one is, I don't think it's related to the first one. It's a um, another horror about a teenage girl who got murdered and then her friend has to try and find out who did it and something or someone is following him and it sounds really good as well. So I'll hopefully get to that one too. And the other one they bought me is the Left-Handed Booksellers of London. And I'd never heard of this one before, but it sounds pretty good. So it's like in, set in an alternate London in 1983, good year. An art student is looking for her father, a man she's never known. But before she can question her first suspect, he's turned to dust by the prick of a silver hat pin in the hands of the mysterious Merlin St. Jacques, a left-handed bookseller on a quest of his own. So that sounds a bit like sci-fi fantasy type book, which sounds pretty good. I haven't ever seen it before, so we'll see how we go. Next, uh, I've got a classic. It's Arthur C. Clarke's Childhood End. A few people have been discussing this one recently and I thought I've never read it before, so I thought I'd better get it. Um, something about a utopian earth, aliens. I don't know, that's about all I know about it. So it looks quite short, so that's good. So hopefully it won't take me long to get through. So this one I bought purely based on the cover. It's These Violent Delights, which is supposed to be a Romeo and Juliet retelling in 1920s Shanghai. So that sounds really interesting. My comic book collection is quite small, so I thought I would venture out a bit into the comic world and uh, was recommended Sex Criminals. So I've got the first two volumes of them. I haven't read them yet, uh, but they sound interesting. Um, apparently if this couple have a thing, when they do a thing, time stops and they rob banks and things while the time has stopped. And it'll be really interesting to see what happens. There's only one adult book on Audible that I have um, acquired in the last month, and that is Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. Very, very highly praised thriller. I don't really know anything about it, but I've heard it's good, so I'll give that a go. On Audible this month, I've just got two books. Uh, the first one is Stormfront by Jim Butcher. Yes, I've never read the Dresden Files and I really want to, so I think audio is gonna be the way to go. I don't really know much about the Dresden Files, except for it's like a modern day wizard or something. I don't really know, <laughs> I'll find out. And the other one I got, I think it was on sale, was Mutineer's Moon by David Webber. And that seems like a military sci-fi, um, which sounds really good as well. I have got a couple of children's books that I've purchased to read with my kids. Um, the first being Peter Pan because I've never read Peter Pan before and neither have they. I've started reading that to them at night. I must say it does do a good job of putting them to sleep but they are enjoying it. As for real children's books I've got the classic BFG by Roald Dahl um, which we're going to start reading soon. So I've also picked up two children's books that were written by Australian authors. Um, the first one being Real Pigeons Fight Crime by Andrew MacDonald and Ben Wood. Um, I guess it's about real pigeons fighting crime led by Rock, the feathery master of disguise. So that sounds really fun and I think my kids will really like this one. And the final book I've got today, another Australian author, The Odds by Matt Stanton. He's a Sydney based author and this is a um, comic for kids. Um, it seems really funny. Um, Kip's life has suddenly been interrupted. Ten of her favourite characters have stepped out of their worlds and into hers meet the odds. 
what happens when a dragon hunting rabbit leaves his comic strip or when an old man leaves his picture book etc sounds really good my son is gonna love this one and that's it short and sweet uh, January book haul lots of sci-fi I have a lot of fantasy to get through with Malazan the beginning of the Dresden Files and the end of the first law so I'm very excited to read them I've made it a mission to read more fantasy this year because I didn't read much last year and I'm on to a good start so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye